everyone, this is Rochelle, and today I'm going to review a fingercomber.com unit called the, I, you don't know how many takes it took me to get that out, fingercomber.com unit called the Honeycomber, okay, I have it in now, and I wore this style of hair in another video, you guys loved it, I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but it is actually a synthetic natural hair unit, it looks very realistic, okay, take a look at it, alright, this is my first day wearing it guys, so I can only give you like a kind of, um, first impression type review. So anyway, before we get into the hair, I want to let you know what I did. Okay, it's a it's a full unit. In my opinion, it feels like a half wig. Um, I feel like it's more suited to be a half wig. I feel like you would have to have some hair out to wear this and make it look realistic. My hair is just in a ponytail in the back. I just put it in a stretch. I just put it in a ponytail and like the perimeter of my hair, maybe about two inches, I left out. But it has clips. It has um, not clips, but combs. Like maybe maybe four inches of a, a, a little plastic comb in the front, and then it has a plastic comb in the back. And it also has adjustable straps in the back too. I do feel like it could use combs on the side. The fit is a little different. I, I feel like it needs some combs on the side. All I did was I sectioned the hair out at the top, and I just put it into a ponytail. Now I didn't do a clean section, okay? Because the wefts in this unit, especially in the back and toward the back, are very far spread apart. And I feel like that's something that should be fixed. It's very far spread apart. In fact, in the back, you can almost see through it a little bit. But you know, I have, with other things, we can work around these things, okay? So I'm gonna kind of explain to you how I did it. So I didn't do it nice and clean. I just had like, you know what I'm saying? Like snatch pieces of hair from here and here and here and here so that you really couldn't see anything. And here's my ponytail so, you know, make sure you can see what's going on with the top looks like. I love the curls. It's just super light and airy. Anyway, I put it in the ponytail. What I did is I dampened my hair with just water and I took a, a, like a soft bristle brush and I brushed it on back into that ponytail and took one of these and just wrapped it two times. That's it. Then I took some aloe vera, aloe vera gel, put it on sides and everything, smoothed it down, brushed it, make sure it was nice and smooth, and it blended. And I took a scarf and I tied it down just to wrap it. That's all I did. And you know, I pulled out some, you know, some of my own hair on the side. I didn't gel this. You know, I just felt like the hair is not like tightly defined. So I felt like just having it loose without any gel or anything on it just made it look that much more realistic. I didn't even gel my baby hair down. Somebody said they wanted a video on that, how I did that, but I didn't even do it this time. I just, I just kind of like the kind of, not wild, but not unkept, but you know what I mean? Just natural look of it. Like I said, the curls aren't defined. I like it, like look at it. It looks really, really natural, I feel like. And I'm gonna turn around in the back so you can kind of get an idea. Um, and like I said, the webs are thin in the back, but you know, the way I have it and how I kind of turn, you can't see, you can't see. I love the look of the hair. I had hubby look in the back to make sure you couldn't see things. Like I said, in the back, it's, it's, it's quite thin in the back. This not, it's just in the middle, in the very middle for some reason. The, the webs are super thin in that area and they, they're far, they're too far apart in my opinion. I'm going to lift this up. I don't know what you're seeing, but that's, that's what we got, okay? I don't know what you saw, <laughs> but if you saw uh, tracks, then it, that's why. It's very long. I'm gonna stand so you can kind of see. You see how long it is, guys? And if I pull it, like look, all the way basically to my belly button. The hair is easy to detangle. Um, if they sent me actually this um, stuff called um, Afrogenics, it's called Curl Keeper, it's in eight ounces. It's on their site and they said that I could use this to help style the hair and make it soft. It's already soft. Like I really didn't need to use it. But I just did. I went in with a little bit of water, combed it out, and it, it detangled nicely and put some of that on it just to see what it would do. I mean, I don't know. I didn't I didn't find it to do much. Maybe I did something wrong, but I didn't find it to do too much. Just it's very fragrant, extremely fragrant. Okay. Try to give you an idea of this smoke. Let me see. Uh, great bubble yo. 20 minutes or so it kind of calms down but in the beginning it's very strong but I didn't I didn't feel the need for that like I like the curls the way they were okay so it's like a it's almost like a um like a maybe two three day old twist out on stretched hair and then the, the bottoms are very curly okay so I do like that I love like look at the top I love the curliness um, of the top I love how light and airy it is if you have 4a uh, fine natural hair okay it, it will blend in perfectly if you're looking for a dense um, kind of strong natural hair unit this is not what you need the issue that I do have with the unit though is that I feel like the layers are a little bit too far are too far spread apart not the top ones but that last one I feel like it's just a little bit too long I feel like they have like maybe I don't know a 16 or I don't know what this is 
I don't know, maybe it's a 20. And then this is like a 24. It's like tiered and, and you can see it. I mean, you can easily cut it yourself and just get you some little curl rods like we talked about. And then just curl the ends. You can fix it yourself. Um, but I feel like they will be saving hair if they just did that for us. The wefts are very fine. I don't mind that. The issue I have is that the wefts are fine and far spread apart. So like I said, in the middle of the hair, I feel like there's a gap that shouldn't be there. You can, you would be able to see through it if you didn't have a black cap. I asked Hubby, could he see today? You know, I had him all up in my scalp and he couldn't see it. But that is something I feel like needs to be addressed. Now this is a synthetic unit. I don't know how long it's going to last. I just got it. The price point of this unit is 88, I believe. Um, I like the unit. I just feel like the, the wet situation is, is, needs to be addressed. And I feel like the, the main issues I have are that the wefts, are, um, just, they're just too far spread apart in the back. I feel like the combs are fine, but I do feel like you could add another comb on the, on the sides just to give us more security. I think construction just needs to be a little bit tighter in this unit. Other than that, I love the hair. I like how soft it is. It is easy to detangle. I don't know about the longevity of it. I'm not trying to get you to revamp your whole thing. I'm just trying to say it. This could be a great product. I mean, it's not bad. But it could be great, okay, with these small changes. So what I feel like, I mean, you're probably gonna be like, well, how are you gonna tell these people what to do? I feel like if you like throw this on sale, okay, and just get it all out, all the other stuff out, you know, and then just redo your this product, redo this product with those little tips, I feel like you would have a winner. Um, by the way, this is a black owned company. Hello. And hello there, and I'd love to support you. So I, I want you to win with this. And I feel like with those few little things, you can have a winner. And this is a, definitely an option that we need, especially the naturals here who, who can't, you know, or don't want to spend $300, $400 on the natural hair, the natural human hair, you know, the other options. So 88 bucks, someone, you know, yeah, we buy this. Um, but those issues, I do feel like they need to be addressed. Fix those few things. Take it down a notch, get that out of the way, fix these things, you will have a winner. Send it to me, I'll review the mess out of this, okay? So that's my review on the Honeycomber unit by Fingercomber.com. Thank you so much for sending it to me. I cannot wait to review the um, Havana hair that you guys are saying. You know I'm loving it, the crochet braids. So I will be doing that soon. One of my subscribers sent me this picture two, three days ago. Hello to you, and girl, I love it. And I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Hopefully I don't miss this hair. I'm gonna try my best to do that, okay? And I'm gonna make a video. I think you guys are really gonna like it. Well, anyway, again, this is the thinkercomber.com honeycomber unit. Hopefully you've enjoyed the review. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one very, very soon. I'll talk to you then. Bye.